Mr. Ed here. Today is October 21st, 2017. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana. And today we have got us a really, really interesting job. As you can see right here, we got a bunch of bees up in here. And what this is, it's an old farm board. That's form, F-O-R-M, not form. And this uh, board right here, the bees have actually moved in. This, this is an old boat yard right here. And uh, the bees found a nice little uh, spot, and now they're in it. And so what I've come to do today is not actually uh, bring these bees up to the abbey today, but I'm going to go ahead and transfer these bees uh, from the farm board uh, into a hive box. And uh, the process that I'm going to be doing is I'll take and uh, remove this board onto some sawhorses. And uh, when I remove the board, I'm going to place another beehive right where this hive is sitting right now. And what, what will happen is that the bees that are all flying around, they're going to come right back to this location right here. And uh, that will really reduce the number of bees inside, on side of the cone. Uh, in which time I can then transfer the comb onto frames, look for the queen, and then once I put everything uh, back together, then I'll set everything right back here on, on this spot. And I'll leave this uh, box here for probably two weeks or so, let that weather cool down a little bit and come pick these things up one evening when I come pick, pick up the other box that I've got here at Slide L. So by the grace of God, these little Slide L bees right here, in a couple more weeks they're coming up to the Abbey with me. Let's wrangle. So we got Troy here. Come here, Troy. We got drums going. So Troy's, Troy's here. He's the, uh, the guy that actually is, is the grandson of the, uh, of the property owner. And Troy and I are going to uh, move the, uh, the form, set it on our boards, um, and then we're going to actually start transferring uh, into our, into our uh, cone, the, transferring the cone into the box. So uh, the other box is set up. And uh, this is this going to be very interesting to see how this farm moves from that spot to this spot. Hopefully it doesn't disintegrate on us and that the bees have got the boards glued up together. So I'm going to put on my rest of my suit and we're going to start moving this thing. Well, folks, how about that? Look at these bees. That is very nice. They're going to fit very well in, uh, in our one box. I'll just double up the comb on the frames and uh, knock these bees into it. And the bees that, that don't stay on, they'll go right back over to where they, they used to be. Very, very nice. All right, let's uh, cut some comb.
taken out this little section right here and part of this and we have not come across one piece of brood. Uh, we saw about three, maybe four um, empty queen cups, but uh, there's been no sign of a queen yet, so um, I'm kind of concerned on this one. But we're still framing them up. And uh, we're gonna be doing that. Let me show you where the uh, main body of bees are located. So here they are right here. And this is why we separate the, um, the comb from the bees. The bees will come right back to where their hive was. And once we get all the comb into our other box, we'll set it right here. And then all these bees, they'll just crawl right into that. All right, let's finish cutting out some comb. Been about 45 minutes now since I got all this um, bees to get on top of the box here, and uh, we still have our queen right here. So I want to I want to actually close the uh, the box up now to uh, um, calm the bees down even more. So and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and release the queen. I'm going to take this comb and take, put that on the side. But uh, the queen, I'm going to release her, and we're going to put the uh, inner cover on and the lid on. Uh, just to get these bees to, to um, calm down even more, so because they're really starting to get agitated. I've been sitting out about about you know, right in front of the truck, which is you know not 100 yards away, and uh, and the bees are even flying that far over. So I want to get these girls to calm down a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that.
let's pull out a frame, put our queen on it, right in the middle. It really is a lot of bees. I know you're not going to be able to see her when she comes out. But I'm paying attention to her. There she is. She's coming out right now. There she is right here. Right here. All right. Let's close this thing up. There she is. Put our cover on it. Telescope recovery. cover. All right. I did go a lot better than I thought, uh, especially that we uh, caught the queen, because I, I really did not think that we had a queen in here. Uh, these bees are going to be requiring a lot of feeding, because the number of bees they have and, and the, the amount of honey that, and, and nectar that's in there, uh, there's no way that they're going to make it. So these girls are going to have to get fed very, very often and a lot. But I'm willing to do that. I want to see these girls make it. It's, it's, it's a strong hive um, other than the, the queen's not laying. So that's all I have for you. Uh, thank you for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out here until the next video. It's been four days since uh, I came out here and transferred these bees into the spots right here. And uh, this morning, uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning, it's about 40, 44 degrees. And I figured I'd take advantage of that opportunity, that cold, to go ahead and close the box up and bring them up to the Abbey. But the real reason I'm, I'm recording this right now is to apologize for not uh, getting that queen capture on the uh, video. Uh, I'd love to say it wasn't my fault, but I guess in my excitement I forgot to uh, hit the record button. Um, but we did catch the queen, and we did put her in there, and I did thank Jesus for the grace. That's nice. Nice, huh? This is a piece of cake. <laughs>